Hi everyone. Uh, so today's question is uh, weekly contest 340s question. This is the question second of uh, weekly contest 340. So I think uh, this uh, problem is stated as medium. I think this is a hard problem. Okay. So let's try to understand the question first. So you are given a zero index integer array nums. There exists an array ARR of length num short length. Where ARR of i is the sum of um, okay, so we need to take the absolute value. Okay, overall j such that nums of j is equal to is equal to nums of i. So values of uh, at nums of j and nums of i should be equal, but j should not be equal to i. And if there is no such j, so in the response array, I need to set the value as zero only. Okay. So let's try to understand this example. Okay, so one is here. Uh, let's try to pick one only. One, one. Okay. So if I write down the index, so one, three, one, one, two. And if I try down the indexes to better understanding, so one is here and one is here. So i and j I got. So for this index only, if I want to compute the answer. So for this index, the answer will be okay. So zero minus two plus then this j computed. Then I will go to this j, which is nothing but zero minus three. And absolute value will be two plus three, which is equal to five. And here I can see it is showing me five. And if there is no another j, so in this array there is no another three. So I am uh, marking it as zero. And if I and so for this one, let me compute for this. Okay. Now this index. So if I so I need to compute for overall all the j in the array. So this can be also my possible j. So but it will be I need to compute the indexes. So it will be nothing but two minus zero plus. Now for this this will be two minus three. So it will be two plus one, which is nothing but three. For this index, I can see the answer is three only. So here, now for third index, I can compute it easily the same way. Okay. So if I try to uh, go with the brute force manner, so what I can do, I can for all indexes, for all indexes, what I can do, zero, one, two, three. Four, I can store all the indexes, or what I uh, what else I can do for all the different numbers. I can store all the indexes. So zero, two, and three, four, two, and three is coming at one, and two is coming at four. Now for every time I am iterating, I need to uh, sum all this up. Okay, so in this way I can also perform, but the, this kind of approach is nothing but order of n square approach. Because if if the whole array consists of the same numbers, so for every time of iteration I am iterating the whole array. So we need to do it optimally because as per the constant, the constant of this question is around 10 raised to power 5. So if I will uh, apply the approach of n square so it will reach it will give me tle but nothing else okay so uh, let me give you a very uh, good explanation of this problem using a very uh, uh, good example so let's take this input okay and let me write down the indexes here as well So now what I'm trying to do, uh, okay, let's try, uh, let's try out some observation. Let's write down some observations. So what are the observations? So if I am, if my I is here, okay, so what is the possible answer, which is nothing, but if I am taking the absolute, so for this J, it is nothing but four minus one plus, and then this j which is 4 minus 2 now for this j it is nothing but 5 minus okay so this is from the left part let's say this okay 
and for right the ones present at the right of this i which is how i can compute it 5 minus 4 fifth index and fourth index plus 7 minus 4 okay which is coming is 3 plus 2 5 and 1 a 5 minus 4 is 1 and 7 minus 4 is 3 4 4 plus 5 plus 4 is 9 so 9 is the answer for this particular index now to simplify this statement can i write this statement like this 4 multiply by 2 minus 1 plus 2 and this the right indexes can i write like this the same way 4 multiply by 2 but this time this is coming into minus side and 5 plus 7 can i simplify the equation in this and whole multiply by this so where this this multiplication is coming from this is the frequency of one at the left hand side so there are two ones present at the left hand side and in the right hand side i can also see two ones are present and what are these these are the indexes where one is present at the left hand side and these are the indexes where one are present at the right hand side so in the constant manner of time in order of one i can get this computation by using prefix sum and the frequency i can also get in constant number of time so, okay so let me give you an uh, dry run of each index and understand what is our algorithm is trying to say okay for that okay so i needed an answer so answer should be in long terms as per the method signature okay so uh, so we will declare an answer answer array okay where the index is in the 201234567 so first i will try to compute from left to right then right to left and in the addition in the end at last we need to add all the answers okay now for these uh, computation what i needed is an indexes map let me write it below okay indexes map and what i what else i needed one i needed is frequency map so let's say this indexes map is from left to right iteration and i needed one more like the same indexes map we can clear after the iteration frequency map this indexes map is for right to left iteration okay so let's try to solve for this one okay so our index is zero so there is uh, the indexes map is blank right now empty right now so 2 is present as 0 and the frequency of 2 is nothing but get 1 okay so here we did nothing so the, here the answer will become 0 okay first we are iterating from uh, right to left oh sorry left to right okay then 1 we came to 1 okay 1 is also like also was 1 was also not part of indexes map so 1 and present at 1 and frequency of 1 is also 1 now i came to this index this completed this completed now i came at index 2 what i am seeing there is also like one present in the indexes map and frequency map so what i what i will do so let's uh, okay so i try to implement this thing so what is my current uh, frequency right now so what i will do the index 2 multiply by uh, the frequency which is 1 minus at uh, what index is 1 was previously present only 1 is there okay so i will do this so 2 into 1 is 2 2 minus 1 is 1 okay so uh, so this is 0 only but for this index we are able to compute it this will come become 1 okay now what we will do we will go to this index okay okay and uh, after computing this okay what i will do i will increment the frequency by 2 and 
which indexes we computed at index 2. So these are all the indexes in the left hand side where 1, or 1 is present. Okay. Now I came to this index 2. There is one 2 present. I am saying frequency of 2 is also greater than 0. So what I need to do, uh, my current index is 3. Multiply by previous frequency minus all the indexes where 2 were present. So 3 minus 0 is 3 only. Okay. So for this index, the answer is 3. And I will increment the frequency of 2. And I will add up the previous indexes. I am doing it like a prefix sum of indexes. So 1 plus 0 plus 3. Okay. Now I came to this index. Now uh, what I what I will do? I am seeing like uh, 1 is also present. Uh, 1 is already present in the frequency map. So what I will do? 4 multiply by 2 which is a frequency of previous ones and minus the addition of all the indexes which is 3 so 8 minus 3 is equal to 5 so for this index answer is 5 I will increment the frequency and I will add up my index here okay now I will uh, go jump to this index which is 5 and 1 is already present in frequency so 5 multiply by previous frequency minus the whole sum 4 plus 2 is 6, 6 plus 1 is 7. So 15 minus 7 is nothing but 8. So for answer is this is 8. Increment the frequency plus the current index which is 5. Okay. Now I jump to this index which is 2. 2 is already present. So for 2 what I need to do? Current index which is 6 multiplied by previous frequency of 2 minus the prefix sum of all the indexes which is 3 so 6 minus 2 okay 12 12 minus 3 it will give me 9 so answer for this is 9 and i will add up the 6 here and frequency of 2 will become 3 now i will jump to this index so 1 is already present so 1 is already present then what i need to do i need to do uh, the current index multiply by previous frequency minus the sum of all the indexes. So 5 plus uh, 4 9, 9 plus 3 is 12, 28 minus 12, 6 and 1. So answer for this is 16. Increment the frequency plus 7. So as you can see, uh, we are building an algorithm in this way. The same thing we need to do for right to left okay now in right to left direction what we need to do uh, will multiply uh, the current index multiply by frequency and we need to subtract that part so that part where we are multiplying with the frequency we need to subtract in this case and the suffix sum i am uh, saying the suffix sum of all the indexes we need to uh, like the suffix sum minus current index multiply by frequency so that thing we need to do in the case of uh, right to left which is suffix sum of indexes minus what we are subtracting here which is nothing but uh, current index uh, multiply by frequency so but before starting the right to left iteration make sure you are, you are uh, clearing your indexes map and frequency map okay so this is what our algorithm uh, will solve this question let me give you a walkthrough of code as well okay Okay, let's understand the code once as well.
okay so we need to return the long array so make sure like uh, we maintain our answer in terms of long only so we need initialize initialize our answer array and here i initialize the indexes map and the frequency map so first we are traversing from left to right so if indexes map does not contain the key nums of i then i am putting nums of i and the particular index i okay why i am multiplying with one because i need to convert it to long only and current i is is of type int so this code is in java you can uh, handle this in your preferred language the same thing i am maintaining the frequency the same algorithm what we uh, discuss above i am doing the same so if if the frequency or if the indexes map already contains that particular nums of i we will do the same thing multiply the current index into frequency and minus the whole prefix sum of indexes so after doing from left to right iteration we'll try to modify the same long answer okay because what we did above is uh, when this thing is filled we need to add all the things up which will give me the whole answer okay so uh, what i will do now traverse from right to left so i initialized but before traversing i cleared my uh, indexes map and frequency map so if indexes map does not contains uh, that particular nums of i so i am putting that into indexes map as well their index into indexes map and their frequency into frequency map and after uh if if it is already present into indexes map so i can compute with is, with the help of my algorithm which is nothing but in case of right to left iteration what i need to do first uh the first thing will come here is the suffix sum of all the indexes where that nums of i is present minus the frequency into current index so here you are seeing one l i am multiplying so if you do not multiply 1 and 1 l everywhere so what at the around the last test last two test cases you will not able to submit so this is uh, for the overflow condition in the long that's it so at the end you can return answer <coughs> so here you can see every element is uh, get traversed only two times uh, every element only twice so we can say order of n plus order of n which is nothing but order of n only the time complexity is order of n as well as the same uh, space complexity is also order of n only okay so that's it from my side uh, if you like the uh, if you this video helped you please like the video and subscribe to the channel thank you